low-level design and JST. Two steps of JST pertain to low-level design, the function step and the system timing step. Function step. The model created in the first three phases of JST has no outputs, it models the dynamic behavior of the real world. The SSD, system specification diagram, may or may not be changed in this step. There are four types of functional processes, embedded functions, imposed functions, interactive functions and filter functions. Imposed functions, in general, represent a larger processing task than an embedded function. They, like embedded functions, are a result of another function or a user requirement. A new process must be added to the system. Interactive functions are functions that interact with the system, it takes information from the system, processes it, and outputs it back into the system. Filter functions validate input data by detecting and, if possible, correcting any data that is invalid in the sense of having incorrect values or in a sequence that the model process is not designed to be recognized. Data analysis is not as complete as in other methodologies in that, for example, it does not suggest normalization. The end result of the function step is an amended system specification diagram with associated structure texts. System timing step. The JSD modeling process so far described has not yet explicitly raised the question of speed of execution of processes and their timing. Implicitly, the model must lag to some extent behind the real world because input must take some time to arrive. In the system timing step, explicit consideration is given to permissible delays between receipt of inputs and production of outputs. Time constraints will derive either from user requirements or from technical considerations. JSD uses time grain markers, TGMs, which contain timing information about the execution of the processes. The end result of the system timing step is a specification of timing constraints using the TGMs associated with processes. Created using Powtoon.